we need uh, tere pyar ki koi sadak hai na right that's the energy we want to get back to which what is, is that? that's your song boy that is your I'm song not, janvi i don't done any sadak <laughs> <laughs> हेलो सलाम नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू टिंडर स्वाइप राइड एक ऐसा शो जहां आए खुशरा कपिला विद अ वेरी स्पेशल सेलिब्रिटी गेस्ट टेक्स अ वेरी स्पेशल गर्ल टू हर स्पेशल टिंडर डेट एवरीथिंग इज रियली स्पेशल हियर as you guys have figured it out joining me today on this pyar ka mission is someone uh, jinki hair volume unki beauty unki sexiness unka curves unka youth main unse cheenna chahungi because i want it janvi kapoor <laughs> what <laughs> you know this is what i love about janvi i've met her before and she is a complete goofball hi guys janvi this is goodness. the energy i love you know i do not want to take another shot of this because this is your energy it is what it is sorry <laughs> but it'll get more fun it'll get more fun how are you i'm good how are you you're looking so beautiful i love the fact that you're in pink thank you and i'm in blue There is this feminine and mask energy which I just love. Yeah. So Janvi today we're meeting the 22 year old Janice De Souza who's a creative producer. Wow. Her Tinder bio is that if you're looking for someone who's funny, pretty and a little dramatic, you're in the wrong place. My humor is okay, but everything else definitely applies. Cute. Yeah, she's funny too. Yeah. She's just not accepting. She's yeah, doing the humble brag. Yeah, self-deprecating. Yeah, it works. Mm. It works for the girls. She's also set her relationship goal, and it is still figuring out. Mm. Her and everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Yeah. Okay, Janvi. Let's look at Janice's pictures. This is a Janice with flowers in her hair. This is Janice with flower in her hands. This is just Janice with no flowers. And then baby Janice looking like a flower herself. <laughs> Are you excited to meet her? I'm very excited to meet. Okay, because you're in luck. She is walking towards us. Janvi, hide. Just a little bit, little bit hide. Yeah, she's coming. She's coming. Hi, Janice. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. This is the excitement we need in this car. This is the commitment to hiding that we at Tinder Swipe Right appreciate. Good, I did not expect you to be here. Let this meet and greet happen, and I shall start driving towards your date. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> who are we meeting? Who is this person who's gotten Janice out on a rainy day? Yeah. So for starters, I hate the rains. So it is a big thing that I'm going out. It's very <laughs> romantic. <laughs> Mm, कुछ अलग ही जनाब होंगे फिर तो His name is Joy. ऐसी क्या बायो थी उसकी क्वांटम फिजिक्स You should swipe right. If not, then I just have a cute butt. So, oh, so I, I'm I, clearly not into quantum physics. <laughs> I see that you've taken a liking to uh, his butt. <laughs> clearly, maybe. Okay, so, maybe. 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 Okay we're going on a drive okay. I don't know where Oh so it's a drive in the rain Yes bahut hi romantic Yes and I hope I get a little traffic so that you know mm. get to talk a little mm. and and then accidental hand touching Don't <laughs> hope so much from now only what if he starts talking about quantum physics <laughs> then oh where God, you imagine Then he can just get up and show his butt a little from the side. I'll be like, I really have to pee, and then I'll just like, you know, with every word of quantum physics, just a little sneak peek of the butt. Balance it out. Yeah. yeah. Janvi, I must ask you hypothetically, mm -hmm. if you were on Tinder. Oh God. Mm hmm. What would your bio be? Cute but psycho. Cute but psycho. Yeah. So basically, laying all cards on the table. Yeah, like I can be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> I love that. 
this transparency is really required because this power dynamics in dating is just uh-huh. taking the fun and the joy out of it and we want joy to be in it yeah maybe he will give me some joy today yeah. <laughs> see this is the transparency i was looking for january also since uh, it was a two part question yeah. I, i forgot to tell you uh, who will you write swipe on on tinder someone um confident i like but cocky i don't explain cocky what is the cocky like behavior? if he's only posting pictures of his biceps like mm-hmm. that then i'm yeah, like you know agree. i i can't and like some when guys do that weird part that mm, that's on that's a little selfies in the yeah. gym board i don't mind all of that like yeah you worked hard for your body showed off that's great but you know when it crosses a line of like ah. bahut zyada ho raha hai you know like i want a guy to look at मुझे नहीं हारना चाहिए ना ये खुद को ही आईने में देख रहा तो मैं मतलब क्वीन बिहेवियर सो बेसिकली यू लाइक अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ मिस्ट्री आई लाइक अ वेरी गुड सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर आई लाइक नाइस वार्म आईज इट्स वियर्ड लाइक आई लाइक एन अल्फा एनर्जी बट समवन हु स्टिल हैज अनफ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड सिक्योरिटी टू लाइक बी ओके विद the attention not being on them always oh. and be like secure in the relationship like let me shine let me grow let me have my space but still alpha what a magical mythical creature you're not talking mythical. about <laughs> not <mythical>. funny <laughs> <laughs> let's you have your moment also alpha also non existent <laughs> like kaha milte hai ye hai maine chupa ke rakha but uh, yes. janis so your relationship goal says that you're still figuring it out yeah बताओ ना उसके बारे में हमें कुछ दैट साउंड लाइक अ स्टेटमेंट दैट कम्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ हिस्ट्री लाइक इट बेसिकली कुड आल्सो मीन आई हैव बीन फक्ड ओवर सो सो आई एम यू नो आई आई बी डू यू नो मी बट दैट्स जानवी आई नो आई हैड अ फुल ईयर ऑफ आई एम स्टिल फिगरिंग थिंग्स आउट एंड दैट बेसिकली जस्ट मेंट आई एम टू फक्ड इन द हेड बाय माय पास्ट टू लाइक बी ओपन टू एनीथिंग यू आर अ फुल जानवी इन होल्डिंग बैक टुडे शी एंट होल्डिंग बट आई शुड आई शुड कैन यू हैव अ सेफ वर्ड to no. tell me to keep quiet please no <laughs> say whatever you want my marriage is not here usually i see her in my oh peripheral vision thing <laughs> i can tell you you've not said anything controversial till now so do we not can worry. be your manager you can you're just sharing your opinions and that's that's okay but i agree with janvi that figuring it out kind of comes with a little bit of baggage yeah, yeah it does so i had i was in a relationship for a very long time how long 5 years oh so, wow so then by the time i got into you know Like after I broke up, I was I was twenty one, yeah. and then I know you you guys will tell me that I'm very young and all of that to have these opinions now, but it was just like you know everybody was already doing the dating scene you know with the apps and going out with people and all of those things and I was like I'm so new to this I don't know what to do. Oh, after y'all broke so, up, yeah. My first relationship was at the age of ten. He gave me rose on Valentine's Day, and my mom found out, and I was grounded. So that was the only memory from that relationship. Quick wipe check of the car to change the mood of the car. <laughs> Mama to came to my school when she find, found out that this guy had a crush oh. on me. She came to school and complained to my teacher. Oh, what are you saying? Yeah, she's barged into school and she's just like, I did not send her to this school, so all of this rubbish could happen. <laughs> yeah, and just, wow. She yeah. she did. So all of us have gone through the same things. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Listen, moms, how they behave is Indian universal. Indian moms are a species of their own. Like, I swear. To get inside their head, it's just like it's a lot. Uh, coming back to love, uh, just quickly checking uh, the vibe of this car. So, situation ships, yes, no, maybe. What do we feel? Yeah, so I'm not all game for situation ships, but I don't mind them either. See, it is a little confusing, but but that can also be exciting, no? Yeah, like yeah, you need yeah, that little, you know, to mm. tell your girls Masala. that you know this is happening. Yeah, yeah. Today will get or not will get? Today call will get or not will get? Exactly. Abhi, relationship me to call nahi kiya to see the phone utha ke gali. Yeah, totally. Yeah, exactly. Haan, haan, totally. Haan, totally. Haan, <laughs> थोड़ी एक नेचुरल काइंड ऑफ एंगजाइटी रहनी चाहिए ना दिल में से घबराहट रहनी चाहिए आई आई लाइक दैट ठीक ठाक चलेगा तो क्या ही मजा आएगा यू लाइक योर फूड राइट विद मसाला और विदाउट यू आर क्राइंग यू बट यू आर टेलिंग भैया कि एक और तीखा और तीखा बनाओ अच्छा लग रहा है सी आई अंडरस्टैंड सिचुएशन एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड शिप 
two words separately. Once they come together, I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> so it's that. But you know, there used to be a time when there was something called relationships. You know? Yeah. I they, wonder what yeah, that is. <laughs> I, yeah, I wonder what happened to that. So what do you feel about modern dating? You think it's gotten too complicated or... or Sometimes you feel, oh, I wish things were just simpler and there weren't so many terms and slangs and dolphin and, and boomerang and I don't what know. What is all of this? These are terms. These are all dating terms. Really? Yes. I also don't know these. What are you saying? Are you judging me? Am I like a bad Gen Z? See, a boomerang <laughs> is someone who just, uh, you goes know. Goes and comes back yeah. and goes and comes back. Oh. And dolphin is also this rare sighting, you know. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's all of that. I've been both. Who would have thought that? <laughs> You've been show it <laughs> Of course. Uh, John, has been a dolphin. We all know that. <laughs> but for you, what do you feel uh, about I modern dating? I think modern dating is very confusing. Oh, yeah? yeah? I can't, like, I just came to know these terms. I didn't even know these existed. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, like for me, I have always been a very... Um, obsessed with Bollywood romance kind of a person <laughs> and then yeah that point comes in your life where you're like nahi hota hai yeah. and then you're just like yaar hota hai behen yeah. you just need to find the right guy oh. I'm telling you and maybe it's joy who so knows someone's mushy in the car <laughs> I'm telling you like I, I just feel I hear my friends talk these days and I just feel like romance has left the building you know sometimes you have to keep your expectations lower because you don't know when someone might flip and you're just like am I supposed to expect this and then that, that like you know that uh, messes with your confidence a little no 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 and all of those things expectations should be high everyone should raise themselves to your expectations and if they don't make the cut tell them to f*** off but you know a lot of our uh, idea of romance is also shaped by Bollywood and we have the ultimate Bollywood diva <laughs> born and bred Bollywood girl in this car so how much has Bollywood shaped your idea of love romance dating and do you think it also like somewhere completely like just ruins our expectations from relationships you know, if you asked me this question a year ago, I'd probably say, yeah, it doesn't exist. But like, it really depends on your frame of mind and the people in yeah. your life. And yeah, it's influenced my uh, my view on love a lot. Like, yeah. if a person isn't tarpoing and dying for me and thinking about me, I'm like, then you're like, what are you doing? Like, this isn't fast food. I think when you set your expectations clear and straight is when... I think magic happens. Yeah. I think it's magic really lies at the end of clear communication and managing expectation. And transparency. Yeah. You know, I've realized half of it is just people having ego battles with themselves. Yeah. I did the whole, you know, sad and bevafai songs and that entire but ride of passage. There's a lot of fun in like staring out the window. Dude, watching the raindrops fall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. might need alcohol to get high. I get high on sadness and dukk. Okay, that's <laughs> my drug. You give me a little thing to crib about and I'll make a week about it. <laughs> okay? Bollywood ke sare sad gaane, they speak to me on a spiritual level. Okay? <laughs> and the but, words. And the, the words. Yeah. yeah. Everything is about. You know when, when they say like, Kagar, Kagar, Mori itni araj to se chun chun khayo maas. You know, he, this, this, these lyrics literally say that. Chun chun khayo maas. Yeah. Kagar yare khayo na tu nena more piya se milan ki hai aas. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying to the crow that you just, you just eat, eat me my out. Flesh. But don't eat my eyes because I still want to see my lover. Yeah. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I might just cry. <laughs> Guys, we need this is another one of those moments where you've changed up the energy. Yeah. <laughs> we, need, we need a cleanse. We need a romantic song. We need a Tere Pyaar Ki Koi Sadak Hai Na. Right? That's the energy we want to get back to. Which what is, is that? That's your song. What? That is I your not, song, Janvi. I haven't done any Sadak. What the hell you Oh yeah. But we are on a sadak. Those are the most appropriate lyrics.
executive come okay, 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 sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Since physical appearance is a huge part of dating, right? Like that's like the first yeah. step you cross, and then you see ki. फिर देख लेंगे कि व्यवहार कैसा है, behavior कैसा है, फिर vibe check कर लेंगे. But पहला stage physical appearance ही है. Yeah. And uh, a lot of times when somebody really good looking would swipe right uh, on my friend's profile, and she's a little unsure about her own, you know, sense of confidence when it comes to body. Hmm. She would say mm, he's he's looking a little out of league. I don't know if I should be pursuing that. So how does like what you say and 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 your physical appearance? How much does it factor in when it comes to dating? So for me, honestly, at this point in life, I don't. It doesn't matter to me that you know somebody is seeing me. I mean, because I am um, chubby. Uh, Person, as you might say, Shots for life. Yeah, you're yes. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So are you. Yeah. So yeah, growing up, um, you know, I was always told that you know when I was just like hitting puberty and developing features, like I was always told to cover up and you know wear full sleeves and mm. take a dupatta around your uh, neck and you know all of those things. Mm. And then I grew up feeling very weird about my body, mm. and I I would just be like, no, you know, I'm always looking a certain way, and it would like. of course i had no confidence at that point and then at one point in life i was i just wore this sleeveless top that i wanted to wear and you know i got a little uh, shit for it saying ki look at your arms i was looking and i was like i Who don't care this? i don't care uh, some relatives at some party or His something relatives only matlab khud ka to yeah. dekhna and then and i was just these relatives like, are relatively irrelevant so I just so like am. let's not even factor in what they say <laughs> yeah and then i was like you know what i don't care and i like initially then i started just doing it because i wanted to like you know revolt yeah well. and not you know but then slowly i realized that then i started wearing clothes that you know i was comfortable in in which my body looked good and i was like you know what i dig this and everything that people had told me to not wear you know like sleeveless and crop tops and i only wear those now and i'm just like yeah so what if i I'm chubbier than normal girls. So what if I have stretch marks? I feel We all have stretch marks. Have stretch yeah. I have so many stretch marks on my hips. But they're normal because when you just suddenly gain height during puberty, yeah. if you do, the stretch marks are just like imperative. They're yeah, gonna so come. Yeah. So it takes a lot to you know um, come to this point where you're like, I'm gonna dress up the way I want to. I'm confident. I'm comfortable. And that is what matters. I'm still going through, and I think it's a never-ending journey to ha- like. Have self-esteem problems for anyone and everyone. I mean, the grass will always seem greener on the other side, and intentionally or unintentionally, there are people in your life that will make you feel like you're not enough. That you know you look a certain way, or you don't you don't look the way that you should, and that's just a result of their conditioning. So I think somewhere or the other, we just have to for ourselves be like, this is me. Yeah. This is who I am. I like it. This is what I want to do with myself. This is what I don't want to do. Yeah. No, but you know, like I, I love what you said, Janvi, and I love what you also said because I feel like dating is also this journey is also like a, a lesson in unfucking yourself, right? Yeah. We're all allowed to date the toxic ones. We're all allowed to date those people who actually help us understand what we don't want from relationships, and there should yeah. shouldn't be any shame attached to it. That yeah. oh God, how could have I done that? You did it, and that's okay because now in the future you're not going to do that. Hmm. So I feel like that breaking your patterns and unfucking yourself, and finally reaching a point where you're all like can't stop grinning, it's like <laughs> you know, like right there. So I just want to tell you, Janice, that's where you're going to be. In a few years, I hope so. You know, sure. that that cute place, that cute <laughs> land is where you're gonna be, and I'm just so excited for you. I'm so excited for you to reach there because you're gonna be like unfucking yourself in that process. But ये तो हो गया like approval of yourself from self. But you know what about others' approvals and approvals of people who matter? Uh, those people are called our parents, uh, who pretty <laughs> much want to approve anyone who comes near us when it comes yeah. to dating or even like marriage. everything so my mom for some reason lives in denial hmm. okay like there was this one time i was i was going out and she's like where are you going i was like i'm going on a date and she didn't believe me she just thought that i wasn't capable of going on a date i love and that then, <laughs> yeah she's just like i am not going to believe this and i'm going to live in this and i'm okay with it so i tell my mom stuff i'm a little i won't say scared of my dad but Yeah, I do. I wouldn't tell him that I'm if I'm going on a date. Exactly. Daira, we are both, na, that you feel like you yeah. can't cross. No, but now me and my dad are like oversharing with each other. Yeah, what yeah. is that like? 
the I, oversharing because it's dads amazing. are so protective and possessive. They tend to be. It's not all amazing. Them. Yeah. Let me tell you, I this my first ever serious boyfriend was that same chup chup ke milenge, jhoot yeah. bol bol ke, all of that, and there was a thrill in that. But unfortunately, that relationship ended because. I had to lie so much and mom and dad were like, no, you will never have a boyfriend. They were very conservative. And that's when I realized, in fact, now I've realized having your parents' approval and having transparency with them makes everything so easy. Yeah. Makes you yeah, feel so true. much more confident about your decisions. Yeah. And having them to like share things with and vice versa, just it's just a very wholesome like there's no additional stress, you know, that what if someone sees, they'll go and tell my parents and you know, all that doesn't come, it's like, yeah, my yeah. parents are aware, like you feel so secure with everything. Yeah, and your decisions also change. Yeah. The kind of, like, if you feel confident about like, yeah, I'm seeing this person, I can get him home, I can, and like my father is okay with it and he's happy with my choice, it makes you believe in the relationship more. That's okay, okay, I must be doing something right. I am so thrilled for the both of you, like the relationship you share with your mom, where she's able to roast you and the one you share with your dad, where there's <laughs> oversharing. Because, you know, there's this emotional nakedness, which we've discussed in a previous episode. So I just love that for the both of you. Also, I do want to like quickly acknowledge that all parents are not so cool. And they give you a little bit of a joke. They give you a little bit of a joke. They force you to marry yourself. But... Today we're talking about wholesome relationships with your parents and that's what we strive for. But if you don't mind your mom and dad, you're getting close, I see you and I understand you. You do you. <laughs> and you do you, okay? We've reached your destination. Now we'll be here. Oh yeah! Where is Joy? I think he's there, yeah. Well, before you go, mm -hmm. I have a little gift for you. Oh, really? Yes! Yeah. 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 It's oh, this is so cute! This is so cute! And it's so pink, just like you. Yeah, it's a PPE kit. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, the passenger princess experience. Yeah. So it's got a really soft, comfy yeah, blanket, this is so cute. Thank you. A, a neck cushion, and a sip of bottle. You're a princess, irrespective. And uh, you're sure beautiful. Make sure you get treated like a princess by yes. whoever you're going on how many ever dates with. And you, you deserve all the grand gestures, the small gestures, whatever you're into. You deserve everything you're into and what you like. And you better have a good time. And I even mean, if you don't, just call me or Janvi. We're not going to come back. <laughs> we have stuff to do. I just hope he's at least 1% as fun as you. <laughs> Those are like very big expectations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I expect to work on I think you. it's time to leave now. Yeah, it's like that girls are like that. They sit and they want to go with us. But what is it? But have fun. Thank you, Best you guys. Best of luck on your date. Have fun. I really Bye. want this PP kit. Yeah, it was sweet. Janvi, now that our beautiful girl's gone, what do you think? What's going to happen on this date? I think it's going to go well. Yeah? I feel like yeah, our agenda was to fill her up with as much confidence and self-love as possible and hopefully that's happened. So hopefully she won't settle but she'll have fun and it'll go well. I hope she has fun. Yeah. I hope she has a filmy ending and I yeah. hope like everything's just perfect for her. You're a passenger princess. I'm a full passenger princess. What will be in princess. your passenger princess kit? Uh, lots of chocolates. Chocolates, let's get you chocolates, passenger princess! Really? Yes! Oh my god! Mm -hmm.